Meet Isabella Coleman. Isabella is a customer marketing manager at ULX Technologies. ULX wants to start leveraging their advocates to get more insight on improving their product, assist in online and offline marketing, and most importantly, help shape ULX's user community. She'll start using Influtive's Advocate Hub to engage her advocates by creating challenges that generate activities to support her marketing goals. Isabella sat down with a cross-functional team made up of members of marketing, sales, product, social media, and PR. They worked out the personality of their new advocate program and the types of activities that they'd like their advocates to do to support the overall objectives of their program. They came up with ULX VIP. It's a VIP program for ULX's advocates who support and passion for ULX can be recognized and encouraged. Let's take a look at some of the steps Isabella completed to get her Advocate Hub ready for her advocates. Since she's already established the framework of ULX's advocacy program with her team, all she needed to do was to go into the settings area of the Advocate Hub and configure the program settings. She set up the name of her company as well as the name of her program. Next, she customized the messaging that her advocates will see when they sign up to be a part of ULX's VIP and whenever they return to log in again. Also, she included an overview of the purpose of the program in the About page. This is also a really great area to put any legal disclaimers your company requires. ULX has set up a custom URL for their Advocate Hub and Isabella enters the information here. In the Branding section, Isabella chooses the color scheme for her hub and uploads her company's logos. Isabella's best advocates are already providing her with great testimonials, customer feedback, case studies, and volunteering to be speakers at events. She'd like to encourage more advocates to do the same. And one way to reward advocates for their activities, as well as encourage participation, is to implement a point structure. Points, badges, and levels give advocates immediate gratification and reinforces behavior. Each challenge can be assigned a points value. The number of points is entirely up to you, but it's a good idea to map out your challenge types and the value they hold for your company. A great way to encourage engagement is to award badges based on completed activities or points earned. The more your advocate engages and contributes, the more status they earn and they can move to a higher level of advocacy. You can also use this as a way to segment and offer special perks to advocates who drive more value for your organization. An advocate will see their overall points, level, and badges earned whenever they log into Advocate Hub. They can also stay motivated by viewing their position on the leaderboard. You can easily customize the levels and badges in your Advocate Hub in the levels and badges areas of settings. Change the names of a level to reflect the personality of your program and add new badges to the structure. You can edit any of the existing badges and add new ones by uploading your own badge image. All badges have rules associated with them that control when they will be awarded. Badges can be earned when an advocate reaches a point level or when they've completed activities in your Advocate Hub. Think through your point structure and make sure the points given reflects the effort and intrinsic value of the challenge. Create rewards that are experience-based and align with the goals of your advocates. You don't need to figure out all your rewards and perks right away. It's a good idea to ask your advocates what they'd like as a reward so you can build up the catalog as time goes on. Isabella has completed most of the setup for her Advocate Hub and has done enough to get started creating challenges. She wants to get a few simple challenges into her Advocate Hub to get started. Some great challenges to start with are follow on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and join our LinkedIn group. Also, any type of feedback challenge or a challenge that will provide reviews or testimonial for your website are great to start with as well. Asking your advocates for feedback is a simple challenge to begin with. Add a new challenge starting with blank. Enter the challenge name, type, and headline as they are mandatory fields. Next, add a stage. In this case, we'll add answer some questions. For this type of challenge, you can choose to make the responses visible to other advocates viewing the challenge in Advocate Hub. 
which is a great way to start a dialogue amongst your advocates. Now that Isabella is almost finished with her initial setup of Advocate Hub, she's ready to configure her email communications. Invitations can be sent through Advocate Hub and with a custom message to your potential advocates asking them to join. The Challenge Digest can be sent weekly to all advocates showing the top three challenges available to them as well as points and badge summary. The Challenge Email is sent out for individual challenges if you'd rather not wait for the next time your advocate logs in to see them. Keep in mind you can customize the challenge email for each challenge before the email is sent. Use notifications to keep your advocates engaged even when they're not logged in. You can use an external system to make the invitation process more personal. It should come from somebody in your company that the advocate has a relationship with. When Isabella's advocates log in, they'll see all the challenges available to them and start earning points and badges as they complete more and more activities. Isabella keeps an eye on the engagement level of her advocates from her dashboard to see who is active, provide them feedback, and monitor their progression through challenges.